It turns out that the Milky Way galaxy, our home in the cosmos, is not what we thought it was. A new study shows that the core of our galaxy may be lighter and less mysterious than we previously assumed, and the edge may be slower and more peaceful than we expected. In this video, I will tell you about this new study by MIT physicists that suggests that the Milky Way galaxy's core may contain less dark matter than previously estimated, based on the surprising discovery that stars at the edge of the galaxy travel more slowly than expected. I will also explain why this is important for understanding the galaxy's formation and evolution, and how it relates to the ongoing quest to unravel the mystery of dark matter, which makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe, but has not been directly detected yet. So, buckle up and get ready for a journey to the center and the edge of the Milky Way galaxy and beyond. The first thing you need to know is what the new study actually found and how it did so. This study is based on the analysis of data from two instruments, Gaia and Apogee. Gaia is a space telescope that measures the location, distance, and motion of more than one billion stars throughout the Milky Way galaxy. On the other hand, Apogee is a spectrograph attached to a ground-based telescope in New Mexico that measures the chemical composition and temperature of about half a million stars in the galaxy. By combining the data from these two instruments, researchers were able to map the velocities of stars in different regions of the galaxy, from the center to the edge. What they discovered was that stars at the edge of the galaxy travel more slowly than expected compared to stars closer to the galaxy's center. This is surprising, because according to the standard model of the galaxy, the stars at the edge should be moving faster due to the gravitational pull of the massive core, which is assumed to contain a lot of dark matter. One of the ways to measure the amount of dark matter in a galaxy is to look at the rotation curve, which is a graph that shows how the rotational speed of stars changes with their distance from the center of the galaxy. If the galaxy has a lot of dark matter in its core, then the rotation curve should be flat or rising, meaning that the stars at the edge of the galaxy should be moving faster than the stars near the center due to the extra gravitational force of the dark matter. This is what we observe in many other galaxies, such as Andromeda, our nearest neighbor. However, the new study found that the rotation curve of the Milky Way galaxy is not flat or rising, but falling, meaning that the stars at the edge of the galaxy are moving slower than the stars near the center. This implies that the galaxy's core may be lighter in mass and contain less dark matter than previously estimated. This is a remarkable finding because it challenges the standard model of the galaxy and raises new questions about the nature and distribution of dark matter in the Milky Way. But what does it mean for our understanding of the galaxy and its history? And how does it relate to the broader context of the dark matter research? Let's find out in the next sections. The Milky Way galaxy is a spiral galaxy, which means that it has a central bulge, a flat disk, and a halo. The bulge is the densest and oldest part of the galaxy, where most of the stars are red giants. The disk is the thinnest and youngest part of the galaxy, where most of the stars are blue and white, and where the spiral arms are located. The halo is the faintest and most diffuse part of the galaxy, where most of the stars are old and dim, and where the globular clusters are found. The new study suggests that the bulge of the Milky Way galaxy may be less massive and less dark than previously thought, based on the slower velocities of the stars at the edge of the disk. This has important implications for the formation and evolution of the galaxy, because the bulge is thought to be the result of the merger of smaller galaxies in the early history of the Milky Way. The mass and shape of the bulge reflect the number and type of mergers that occurred and the amount of dark matter that was involved. Previous studies suggested that the Milky Way galaxy underwent a major merger with a large galaxy about 10 billion years ago, which formed the bulge and the halo, and that this merger brought a lot of dark matter into the core of the galaxy. However, the new study casts doubt on this scenario and suggests that the merger may have been less violent and less dark than assumed, or that it may have happened later than estimated, 
or that it may have been followed by other events that altered the mass and shape of the bulge. This also has implications for the evolution of the disk of the Milky Way galaxy, which is the part where we live. It is thought to be that the disk is the result of the accretion of gas and stars from the intergalactic medium and the formation of new stars from the gas. The disk is also influenced by the gravitational force of the bulge and the halo, which affect its stability and dynamics. Previously, scientists suggested that the disk of the Milky Way galaxy is stable and calm, and that it has not experienced any major disturbances or interactions with other galaxies for a long time. However, this new study challenges this view, and suggests that the disk may be more dynamic and turbulent than expected due to the lower mass and gravity of the bulge and the halo. This means that the disk may be more prone to instabilities and perturbations, such as warps, bars, and spiral arms, which can affect the distribution and motion of the stars and the gas in the disk. This also has will make some changes to the future of the Milky Way galaxy, which is expected to collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about 4 billion years. The outcome of this collision depends on the mass and shape of both galaxies, and the amount of dark matter that they contain. With new vision that the Milky Way may be lighter and less dark than previously thought, this could affect the balance of power and the fate of the collision. Dark matter is one of the biggest puzzles in science because it is the dominant form of matter in the universe but it has not been directly detected yet. We only know that it exists because of its gravitational effects on visible matter, such as stars and galaxies, but we do not know what it is made of, how it behaves, or where it comes from. The new study contributes to the dark matter research by providing new and valuable information about the amount and distribution of dark matter in the Milky Way, which is our closest and most accessible laboratory for studying dark matter. Our galaxy is a unique and important case study because it is the only galaxy where we can measure the properties and motions of individual stars and compare them with the predictions of the dark matter models. This study also challenges and stimulates dark matter research by raising new questions and opening new possibilities for the detection and study of dark matter. It suggests that the dark matter in the Milky Way galaxy may be more elusive and more subtle than we thought and that it may require more sensitive and sophisticated methods and instruments to be revealed and measured. It also implies that the dark matter in the Milky Way galaxy may be more diverse and more complex than we assumed, and that it may have different properties and behaviors in different regions and environments of the galaxy. Therefore, it invites and encourages the dark matter researchers to refine and revise their theories and experiments, and to explore new and alternative ways to probe and understand the dark matter. In this video, I have told you about a new study by MIT physicists that suggests that the Milky Way galaxy's core may contain less dark matter than previously estimated, based on the surprising discovery that stars at the edge of the galaxy travel more slowly than expected. I hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video, and that you are as fascinated and curious as I am about the Milky Way galaxy and its dark matter content. If you are, then please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and leave your comments and questions below. I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback on this topic and to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching and see you next time.